So we've just taken some territory. And... We still... Have some event troops. Which we can't really control. Also, for some reason, all our troops are gone. I'm not entirely sure where they have gone. Because I did stand them down on our own land. So right now, we're super weak. For a reason I don't understand. But that's okay. Nothing's gonna happen to us. Nothing's gonna harm us. Because we are absolutely protected. Now, them being called into war, they don't like it. Makes them unhappy. Our friend up here is, as predicted, losing. How? The AI does the weirdest things, honestly. The weirdest things. So this time, I'm going to go for speed, because we need our troops replenished. We could also go ahead and uh, split our troops in half here. Which removes these warriors and our retinue. So now we can use the warriors and send them to our ally because they just exist. We don't need them. Not right now. We'll send them to him. We also can't attach them, so we just have to leave them there. Alright, so this was an event again we had before, so we didn't really care. History is a subject that always fascinated you, and you have spent the uh, last few weeks studying the campaigns of Alexander the Great. There are many lessons to be learned from his conquests in the East. So, we are now a student of strategy, getting another martial point, which is part of our focus. Alright, let's ask this guy to come and spend some time with us. Let's talk in private, my friend. Ah. This didn't go well. We disagreed and he doesn't like us less. Uh, he doesn't like us as much anymore. Okay, we have a lot of prestige and since I haven't seen the option to... Okay, he has won the war now. Honestly, this should be done. So since I don't see the option to raise a tribal army anymore, maybe that's no longer a thing, uh, we're going to spend some of the prestige to build stuff, because prestige doesn't get really inherited. It goes away, so let's spend some. And we'll spend it on the weaponsmith. And you can always only build one thing in each place, really. So we could build this up, but since we're going to lose it, we're not gonna. We're just gonna build our own up. Well, our son is leading these troops, so we have a chance of him dying in battle. Let's do this. We like our son, he's good, but we don't want our realm to, to shatter. So this is one way of trying to get rid of uh, troops. Of heirs. Just send them into wars and battles they can't win. Right, so the Pictish finally won the war after many, many years. So this is done. So what other ways of disposing of a child do we have? Well, one of my most favorite ones is assigning them to become the spy master. Which is a little bit bad because if we fire him, he's gonna dislike us a bit. So... We lose out on some income, really. We'll have to live with it. <laughs> For now. Once we have 50 gold, we can send one of our sons to assemble a mercenary company. They have a good probability of dying there.
So, what can we do? This is the Jure part of the Petty Kingdom of Mumu, which this guy has. Alright, and we just got another claim on Osiraj. So we'll definitely use this. But thinking about it, we probably should have tried to get a claim here. Well, that's fine. Okay, so he has 944 troops. We have much less, because again, our troops kind of vanished. But we can build up to 1380, so we're just going to sit around and wait for our troops to replenish. Well, because then we don't even need to call someone in, we can just do it. We can just fight, 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 and win. So let's speed up all the way to the top, 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 which you generally don't do, as I said. But right now, there's no threat. We have, we have sensible alliances. Someone just died on our council, who... Our chancellor. Right. Okay, we have another powerful vassal, of course. He's a bishop. So we need to schmooze up to him now. Because he might pay taxes. He's not currently, but he, he might. If we look at our vassals... There. He doesn't like the Pope all that much, so... It's not going to be hard to persuade him. And he immediately died. What the hell? Okay, my wife is pregnant, but we're not sure. Let's have him be Chancellor, despite his lack of everything. Just so he pays taxes to us. It's really all we want. It's all that church money, that sweet, sweet church, church, church money. And we could even increase how much they need to pay us. And we're gonna. Let's have them pay more. Okay, we are paranoid. So we can figure out if she cheated on us. And let's. Maybe she did. No. She didn't. If it, well, we could have spent more gold to try and figure it out further, but if the first one fails on trying to figure out whether or not it's your child, generally it doesn't hold any water. So, that's fine. Okay, our, our wife would like some clothing more suitable to her pregnant state. Let's have her have those. We're not a monster. All right, a learned Jew Jewish man has appeared at your court. He becomes highly recommended in the arts of bookkeeping and administration. Already he has suggested several ways of improving the bureaucracy efficiency. So he's really good. We might want to check who is our steward, this guy. He's also good, but not as good as our Jewish friend here. So let's have him build our legend. He's much better. And another child, another daughter for another alliance. So let's have her be thrifty. And... Let's get... Anything Irish here? We could also filter these. But... It doesn't filter for that, sadly. So, we have to kind of go through it ourselves. There's some Irish, but nothing interesting. Let's go by rank. And let's get the Welsh. Him. Gives us loads of prestige, so that's nice. Let's have an alliance. And we become an adaptive strategy, which gives us even more stewardship and marshal now. So what we're doing again, to remind you, we're building up our troops to attack the north. And we might actually... Right, okay. A small warrior army of warriors has converged. So we have these now. 
So we have 1,300 already, and he has 938. So we are already way superior. So let's declare some more. Oh, we could duel him too. I've never done this. Hmm. Honestly, I like this. I would like to try this. I've never tried it. Let's check. Our personal combat skill is 25, which is good. And his personal is minus 12. Okay, let's, let's do this. Let's have a duel for the strong claim here. If we win, we get it. If we lose, we lose the claim and the title. We're still going to use the warriors. Don't you worry about that. But not just yet. All right. I think he understood the emulation if he would suffer if he declined. So let's fight. Okay. For some reason, this guy who has a much lower skill than me uh, has won. So I die. Uh, which isn't ideal. <laughs> So we have lost a alliance, and we have lost one title. But, that doesn't shock us. Not all that much. Because, we're going to declare a war immediately on him, and just take it back. We could form an alliance, but he doesn't want that, so we're going to take it back. And we don't even need to, well, we're going to... Gonna raise a few war warriors more. And, well, we don't have a claim here anymore, so we can't wage war against him. So that's a shame. Okay, now we need to do all these things again, because our state has changed. Let's wait for the titles until we've taken this land, because we're going to get another strong vessel. Who will want a title? Let's pick an ambition. Becoming the King of Ireland. Or make a friend. Or become exalted. Let's become the king of Ireland. This ambition cannot be cancelled. That's fine with us. And we're going to choose war because there's still room for improvement in us. We don't call allies. Especially since we can't call allies. Because probably all our packs broke down. Yes, they did. So now we really rely on our own strength. Good. So let's focus on flanking, because flanks happen in every fight. But you're not always fighting on flat terrain, on flames, farmland or steppe. So we'll have him be a flanking leader. My half-brother. Lacks education, let's have him be this. We're already in a war for this. Can't put another commander up. Let's do it. Again, these we'll do later. Who are you and what are you doing? Let's imprison you. We can't ransom him, so I'll just leave him in the prison. So it is somewhat good that we spent some prestige at least. Because as you see, we died before we could even use most of it. So the duel wasn't a great idea. Not my best anyway. <laughs> We want to have a good Chancellor. Let's see if we can't get someone from the outside who's good at this. So reset it. Load it. And get this guy. Okay, he comes down to... Not to raid, actually. I don't... Ah, oh, yeah, it's, it's my brother. 
He's sending his troops here. So he will become our Chancellor because we want someone really good. And he would like to be married, so we arrange it for him. He can. No, he doesn't want to marry her. Let's go fabricate a play, uh, claim here. Okay, me experiencing with science has led to the suspicion of me being an occultist. Church leaders aren't too happy. So let's speed up our reunification war a little bit. No need to wait around. Another son. Alright. How are kids betrothed anyway? Strong kid, that's not bad. But let's look for alliances. We need alliances again. Anyone really. Just anyone is fine. Any Pictish. So let's get this girl. That's a strong alliance we get there. Let's attempt to clear our name. We might lose some piety or prestige. Alright, okay. So he accepted our betrothal offer, so we got a new alliance with the Picts. And we won. So, now our realm is going to shatter again, so what we want to try is get this. All his titles is what we want. Because once we got the dukedom, we can't have our domains shattered unless we have county uh, two duke titles. So there we go, we are allied again. Let's stand on our troops. We don't have event spawn troops anymore, so we're not the strongest kid in the yard anymore, but we have a new strong vassal, so we need to give him something. What is he good at? He's very learned. So let's have him be church chaplain and build our legend. And let's sway him to us. Now, appoint a steward. And a marshal. Let's have our zealot warrior be our marshal. And he shall train our troops. That's what we need. And our steward. He shall build our legend. So this looks all pretty decent, but I think gives us... We'll look for a better commander. Let's reset, load these, this guy is the best we can find. Alright, let's, let's not do that, let's take him. Our half-brother is lacking a focus. We could probably just break all these betrothals. Let's try, let's break this betrothal. And create a new one, so we get a new alliance there. Lombard, Frank, 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 Frank. Pictish. Anglo-Saxon. Let's get some Englishmen up in this. So we need to rebuild our alliances. Just so we're back on top. On top of the world. Now, him we got a bone to pick with. How many retinues can we have currently? Oh, we can have more retinues, that is great. A, def a defensive pact was disbanded, it doesn't really concern us. So what does he have? He has 200 light infantry, so he has this and this. We're going to go for it twice. 
with horses. So our retinue is going to be 300 as well. Putting us on top of the food chain again. Out here. Once they're built up. Because we can force him into vassalage. Which I think we should totally do. Alright, a small army of warriors has converged on Umurain. So there we go. Got a bunch of troops again. Let's see. How many troops do we have? 1,222. And our commanders are in decent, fairly decent shape. Especially our flank here. Which is going to get all the horse retinues. And we'll move those warriors over to the center. And... Let us... Well, one of our vassals, our courtier, has claims here. But it doesn't help us to push these. Because he wouldn't be our vassal at the end. Since he doesn't hold the title beneath us. And even if he did, he would fight for a county title, which is on our level. So we wouldn't get it. Now, border disputes are yeah, costly, both in gold and everything. Now, extorting tribute doesn't cost us anything to declare. He will, once he dies, no longer be our tributary. But that's far off. There's still 39 years. So let's do this. Let's let's get him on our side. Let's check he doesn't have any pacts that are helpful. No, he does not. So let's extort tribute from him. We're not going to call our allies in. These are just kind of to get people off our back that might throw an eye towards us. So let's raise all our troops here. Send them here and immediately attack. Don't even let him muster his troops sensibly. This way we get to chop on him. Oh! The Battle of Osraj. It has been ages since I felt so invigorated by a battle. Every day our unit is moving as if connected by some unspoken bond, I exclaim eagerly one night. Or a higher power of some kind. Uh, this is all you, my lord, one of my soldiers says, a look of genuine surprise on his face. So, this allows me to upgrade my base trait, my base signifier trait, who I am as a person. But it also gives me the option to gain proud or humble on top of it. So we are going to go for proud because prestige is king. So we are proud now. Great, our marshal is being a dick. Let's deal with this later. Now, our flank broke, but his center broke and his flank broke. So, despite we us losing one flank, we still won this. Quite clearly, too. So, our troops are just going to siege it to the ground. Our vassals are not happy with having their troops raised for so long. Actually, they have like 13 troops, so let's send them down. It doesn't matter. Not, no difference in our war. Okay. So, he's moving down to besiege me now. But since this is a plains area, attacking doesn't give me a malice. So, we'll let, let him walk here. And then once we've taken the siege, we go fight him again. And probably defeat him as well. Did we get a better... Leader there. No, not really. Alright. It'll be fine. So there we go. Let's have another battle. Which we're most likely going to win. And we have gotten a strong claim on the chiefdom of Tuodime. Which we're going to use. 
Right, as you can see, he doesn't have any generals anymore. So, despite having decent amount of troops, he's not going to win this. So we will just continue sieging and killing his army until eventually we reach 100% in the war score and we'll have him as our tributary who will then give us money and send us troops in case of war. So we win this, we have enough troops to attack him and easily take him out because our tributary is going to follow along. So therefore we don't want to entirely crush his troops but we're going to do this little dance a few more times. At least until he hasn't enough troops to be a threat anymore. So I'm a little bit concerned about him declaring war on who we're fighting right now. So let's win this war. He is now our tributary. And he is sadly at war with these guys. So let's see, several things have happened. Open council position. All right. Let's... Our oh, chancellor is there. Nope, all the strong ones are here. So our chancellor, he died. Let's get another good one. To be our chancellor. New important decisions. Oh, we could compose a book, which costs us 50 gold, which we're not going to do, because that's money we might well spend somewhere else. Now, our tributary, he's fighting a war which he, he can't win. So we're going to raise our troops here and offer to join his war. So this way, once he accepts, which hopefully he does now, we immediately join this battle on his side because we don't want him to lose. He is now good for us. So we'd rather he win. Plus it improves our relationship anyway. So we are going to go siege with him. And put our councillor, chancellor in place. Him. He wants to marry. Maybe we can help him there. No, she doesn't want to marry. Well, fine. Let's have our chancellor... Let's produce another claim up here, because I already have the claim for the county now, but there's a chance we might get a claim for the duke, uh, to, for the duchy, which would be really great. And this episode has gone really long, I'm so sorry I didn't look at the time, because this is what happens if you have fun in Crusader Kings. It just, it goes from one thing to another, to another, to another, to another. Uh, so, uh, next time we're going to attack here. For now we'll help our ally uh, win this, so this is really great already and look at how strong our our king here really is amazing amazing